What's up, everybody? It's Son of a Bitcoin here. Welcome back to the TCS Network. Um, before I get started, I'd just like to always say, if you enjoy the content here, a free way to support the channel is just to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and smash that notification bell. Um, I just want to say uh, thanks a lot, you guys. We've we've done, we've made really good numbers as far as uh, gaining subscribers, followers, watch time, everything. The analytics of this channel are looking good. Uh, our community is growing. Um, the launch of my project from my last video where I dive deeply into it, um, it's been two days and the project is growing organically really well, uh, very fast. We're almost at 500 um, or we're about to be at 400 um, followers in the Discord, members in the Discord. Um, there's still time to join, of course. Um, up to 500 people is the OG whitelist roll. So once it hits 500, um, you'll have to start grinding for that whitelist. Um, but yeah, so today isn't about the project that I came out with um, or that I'm involved in and founded. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do it different. I'm gonna talk about and do AMAs for the project. Um, the project is gonna be gonna be something separate. Um, my YouTube channel is still gonna be the same old YouTube content. So don't worry. Um, it's not just going to be me shilling my project all the time. But um, if you guys have any questions about my project, feel free to leave comments below and such. Um, so today, um, I can't seem to get on the Ada Realms website. I think it may have crashed because uh, all the influx of people. I could be completely wrong. But um, I want to show you guys really cool announcements, um, really big announcements coming from Ada Realms. I want to start up. Um, all right, I'm going to start with Frenix announcement that came out the other day. Uh, we signed a contract for Stage Zero for Ada Realm Game Development. G GDD Game Design Document is planned to be finished on 25th of February. It will contain details and information about gameplay and how it is going to look on the 25th of February. We will post an official announcement regarding it. Ada Realm World will be developed in Unreal Engine 4. Um, Unreal Engine 4, Unreal Engine has great graphics. Um, it takes a lot to run Unreal Engine, but um, it's going to be really exciting to see Ada Realms through using that type of, um, you know, that software, Unreal Engine. Um, very exciting. Um, big, big, big moves. I was in an AMA, I think, months ago, and Frenic said, when you see um i'll start to s actually sign contracts with some of these big companies and and get into unreal engine and vr and things like that that's when you know things are going to start popping off and so i'm bringing this to you guys now um if you want to get in on a great great amazing project ada realms you still have an opportunity um the the the, the floor price is pretty low i wanted to express um, I was also just in an AMA with them like a day or two ago. Um, I've made fairly fairly good friends with a lot of members on the team. Sylvan, the D-Gen, uh, Cold Fusion, um, Frenic, a lot of you guys, and a few others. Um, Powdery Hot Fuzz, I think I hear speak in uh, Twitter spaces. But besides the point, um, you guys, this project is doing something very unique, something that other projects aren't doing that I, I've actually noticed. They're, they're, what makes them different from all metaverse projects is their interoperability, their ability to connect. Um, they're kind of like a hub. They got Lazy Island. You can access that uh, through a portal inside of Ada Realms. They have Cryptodelics Realms, another metaverse you access through a portal. And then... Um, they just announced today, Phoenix Island has just been deployed. So now there's a portal, this Phoenix. This is a picture right here. You go over to this Phoenix, I believe, um, which I I can't get on the map right now. I think there's a lot of traffic or they're, they're just working out the details. This is a brand new announcement. So I assume a lot of people are um, all over it. Um, I see all the reactions, but 
So the plots will be distributed next week. They're a very loving community. They're giving back to the people of the first Metaverse rug pull in the space, me included. So I'll be getting a Daniverse plot. But this is just an example. This is another Metaverse connected to theirs. And that's what I think actually makes them like a real Metaverse is, is the connection. Um, there's a lot of things that you can qualify as a Metaverse, whether it be um, a Fortnite-style video game, even centralized. Um, like Facebook's metaverse is centralized. There's a lot of games on the Oculus that um, are metaverses. They're just not classified, you know, as metaverses. But this is what is making them different right now. This is what is standing out. I had even gone on to ask um, questions in the AMA that I personally really wanted to know because I see Pavia coming out with their Pavia compatible assets and their tools that they're going to be allowing 3D engineers and architects to use to develop in-game assets um, like Blender t style tools and things like that. So I had asked Frenic if um, the Ada Realms was going to be doing something similar. I uh, said at first the, the in-game assets will probably be provided by Ada Realms. Um, there will be a marketplace in-game. He said eventually there will be... Um, working getting into a community member um realm ada realm uh compatible assets so this is gonna get insane with unreal engine all this stuff going on to um people that are gonna be able to deploy assets they have um realm token coming which is different than the realm gold the realm gold i guess is more of a collector's item now at this point they're gonna do extra things for the people and holders of realm gold but the realm token is going to be distributed and used in their in game through their marketplace and other things for their um compatible assets and and things like that um so you can buy different skins house skins and certain things with realm token i believe um so guys this this metaverse project has just about everything I can think of um, that make up a quality project. And I've been involved since day one. I'm friends with the team. Um, I just can't say enough great things about this project. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to move on to the next. I got a lot going on today. I got the, uh, one of the kids' birthday parties. Um, so yeah, moving on to the next thing, I really feel like I have to cover this project because it's blown up really fast, and it reminds me of the Boss Cat Rocket Club, actually, so much so that it freaked me out a little bit. When it first, first came around, um, the Discord was blown up. Um, this was just a few days ago or a week ago when I found out, and I noticed their Twitter is lacking. They got, like, nobody in Twitter, so, so that freaked me out. When I see social media metrics that are screwy, um, I don't like that. I, uh, I tend to be very weary. I'm a bit traumatized from rug pulls and scammers through different uh, chains and, and things over, over time. I try to make security my main priority on my funds and my keys and everything. Um, so do your own research. But the reason I'm covering this, guys, is because it's blowing up too fast for me not to cover. Um, and the community is piling in. I'm seeing a ton of Boss Cat Rocket Club people. Feels like they just want to move on to the next project. I think Boss Cat Real Estate, they're minting today, but this is their last collection. Um, they'll be doing further land sales, I'm sure, but um, they're not having any more rockets, cats, whatever. This, they got what they got now, so um, the show must go on, right? That's how, This is what I'm getting from it. Um, but the community is really engaging they're active. I'm seeing a lot of memes and cool stuff. Um, so we can go right ahead on to the website here. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this, guys. This looks exactly like Boss Cat Rocket Club website. They have like a metaverse style asset, maybe um, house. I don't know if they own any property in metaverses right now. Um, they're a collection of 9,999 unique dogs, kind of like the same number of boss cats. I'm going to stop comparing them now. I'm sorry. Um, speeding around the metaverse with the meanest cars on the block. We mad dogs are working to become not only a brand in the NFT space, but a brand in the real world. Only a mad dog will give you exclusive access to a plethora of benefits. We welcome you. So I envision dogs, then cars, then a dog metaverse. 
type thing if they're going to keep on with going down the path they're going on. Um, the artwork's there. The artwork's really cool and attractive. It looks really close to the boss cat art, especially the eyes look identical, especially the fur here by the chest. Um, so they probably attract a lot of the same crowd, and that's what I think we're seeing. The whitelist mint dates April 8th, public mint April 9th, so a little bit out, um, about 30 ADA. Um, very affordable, pretty fair. Uh, so this is just the rundown, really. Um, this is the Meet Their Team. They're not really like docs. They just kind of have these Ready Player Me avatar faces and not really much about them, their real names or anything. So it looks like they're keeping their profiles under wraps, but they have um, an international group of enthusiasts spearheading one of the fastest growing projects on Cardano blockchain. But why? This is what I want to know. Why is it the fastest growing? Is it some kind of utility? I'm not seeing any utilities here, guys. I'm just seeing a whole lot of Boss Cat Rocket Club and hype. And I might get some hate for saying that, you know, but hey, um, am I going to grab some? Definitely. Am I going to get in the community and see what it's all about? Definitely. Could I, you know, um, could I get scammed? Definitely. Could I make out really good? Definitely. So I'm just showing you guys something um, I have my eye on right now. Uh, really just taking a look at it. Um, I'm looking at it from the sidelines. I want to see what's going on a little bit more, but I've been standing by for a while, and I've been watching this thing grow really fast. So I'm thinking about hopping in, seeing what's going on. Probably trying to get on a whitelist and trying to accumulate some. Um, even if worse comes to worse, the community is so large, and I feel like it's going to really push this project really far and give people good opportunities. I think minting them won't be a bad move at all. That's not financial advice. That's just some guy on YouTube. So Midian on YouTube, you guys know how I do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I spoke too soon. They do have utility. Um, we will randomly select five mad dog holders to receive 1,000 ADA each and another 10 holders to receive an exclusive merch. Check out the merch website. So they're doing merchandise a little different. Okay, I like that. Like a little bit different. My project is merch as well. Um, and the random airdrops of Ada is really cool. They're giving back to the community. You got to appreciate that, right? Car collection. Ooh, I didn't even read this yet. This is my first time going over this. Uh, so I guess that one was fairly easy guess. More details coming soon. Uh yeah, so a little predictable, but that's okay. This thing's doing really well. So go check out Mad Dog Car Club and don't sleep on Ada Realms. There's a lot going on with Ada Realms, you guys. But with that being said, son of a Bitcoin, I'm out of here. I'm going to be covering a lot more uh, different projects coming up soon as well. Uh, so hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.